Hello everyone. Last time, I started to introduce Angie, my female Plakat Bita, to my male Plakat Bita named Tommy. I also make sure to add floating plants to the tank to help mimic the natural environment of the betta fish in the wild. After releasing the female beta to the main tank, they become very close right away. And male beta is performing his best. He flares his fins to attract the female beta fish. After 12 hours, I saw my female beta hiding in the sponge filter and was very weak. At that time, I still see no signs of eggs or bubble nest in the top surface of the tank. So I took Angie out of the tank to make sure she is safe. While watching one of the videos I took with a male beta fish inside the tank, I realized there were eggs and bubble nest under the plant roots. And Tommy was hiding all of it. That's why I can't see the bubble nest on top. 24 hours after, I think that beta decided to transfer the eggs on top surface. At this time, I can also see some eggs are already moving, which means that the eggs are fertile and will hatch soon. Forty-eight hours later, bubble nest and white eggs are no longer visible, but that beta is still there. And I think he is guarding for something. So decided to take a closer look. And so a bunch of babies. So I'm 100% sure that these are baby beta fish. <laughs> 72 hours after, that beta is wide awake, guarding his babies all the time. And I can see baby betas started swimming already. While well, other baby betas started to find food. Baby betas are very tiny. For instance, this is my nail, and this is the baby beta fish. Since I just started keeping baby beta fish, I'll be more happy if you can share your experience by letting me know in the comment section that's all for today and thanks for watching